you guys are in for a treat today because today we're going to be talking about dump trucks. Yes, we are. Welcome to Down to Dirt TV and today we're going to talk about two things you should watch out for when you're buying your first dump truck. I know a lot of people get confused when they're going out there trying to find one, so I'm going to clarify some things for you. Coming up. Welcome to Down to Dirt TV. I am your host Rob and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can help out this channel in the best way possible because you know how it is when uh, you don't have any subscribers YouTube doesn't put you at the top and we want to be at the top of your list. Also make sure that you hit the bell icon so that you never miss another video. Now if that stupid is out of the way let's get down to dirt. So you're thinking about buying your first dump truck. I know we started another video like that, but in that video, we just talked about the different types of dump trucks. Today, we're gonna to talk about two things that I think that you should consider greatly when you're buying your first dump truck. So one thing to be aware of is the amount of miles on the truck. Now, I know everybody thinks that because you bought a truck and it, you know, that, you know, these things are capable of going over a million miles that it's gonna serve you good. If you buy a truck that has extensive miles, we're talking about any, anything above 250 to 300 to 400 to 500,000 miles on it, those miles are not only on the motor. So you could potentially buy a truck that's had an overhaul on the motor, but other components like differentials and drive lines and suspension, things of that nature also wear out. All these other components wear out just the same. We're gonna talk about the mileage on the suspension and a suspension type that you should never buy but that's later on in the video so when dump trucks uh when dump truck suspensions age you have to replace ball joints and wheel bearings and hubs and things of that nature and it can get pretty expensive really quick remember when you're buying a machine or a piece of equipment that's that heavy you need special jacks just to get them off the ground and get the wheels off you need a big air compressor that can power this jack some of these lug nuts are torqued down to 450 pounds per square inch Wait, is that 450 foot pounds of torque? I think it's 450 foot pounds. I don't think that it's uh, uh, pounds per square inch because I just that wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense. That's on my. So we're gonna deal with this thing that's in my eye as we're going through this. I have something in my eye. They can be torqued down to 450 foot pounds, which is really, really hard to get off. I tried to take mine off before and it was just damn near impossible. Just be aware that when you're buying something that could be potentially worn out, you're not gonna be equipped right out the gate to do the work yourself. So you have to take it to a shop, especially for things like taking the tires off, fixing suspension and things like that. So another thing that uh, a lot of guys don't look at are the tires. So the tire types make a big difference. There are road tires and off-road tires. One that's kind of a combination, it's for on-road, but you can use them off-road to get traction. A lot of guys will buy trucks and they'll see, they'll see they have brand new tires on them and they're like, right on, that's cool. But if you're buying a dump truck, you have to make sure that you're buying the right type of tire. They have a specific tread pattern that is specifically used for off-road applications so that if you start to get stuck, it'll grip that loose dirt and loose mud, you know, be able to kick that out while they're trying to get traction. You wanna make sure that it has the right type of tires. You don't wanna get a truck that's been outfitted with brand new highway tires because that's gonna do you no good when you're off-road trying to call for a construction company developing a site. Uh, you won't be able to get grip on loose soils. So it's really important that you make sure that you have the right setup for what your application is. If you're set up to be an on-road truck or set up with on-road equipment for your truck and you try to go off-road, it's gonna cost you a lot of money to replace those tires just so that you're equipped correctly. Yeah. Make sure you stick around to the end because there is one serious pitfall to buying a used truck that a lot of people don't know about. So. Stay tuned. I like pancakes. Do you? If you do, you should hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe for more great quality content. And then you should hit the bell icon so you never miss another video. Oh man. The one that a lot of people fall for, the conversion truck. These are actually on-road trucks, you know, over the highway trucks that have been converted into dump trucks. 
under no circumstance would I suggest to buy one of these trucks. The reason I say this is because these trucks are not engineered to be dump trucks. They can pull 80,000 pounds, but what's it gonna do for you when you put a dump body on it? You put a dump body on the back of one of these things and they become dangerous, to be honest with you. What do I mean by that? Well, let's go outside and go take a look at our dump truck and I can show you the difference between a normal dump truck and a conversion truck. All right, so let's talk about this over, you know, this over road conversion into a dump truck. So what they do is they take over the road trucks that usually have an airbag system for the suspension in the rear. They strip everything off of the uh, over the road truck and then they put on a dump body like this and uh, what they do is they leave the suspension on there. Well, that suspension is really dangerous to have um, off-road. And what I mean is when you tilt that box up and you go to dump a load, you're on airbags. You're, you're, the whole weight of your truck is on airbags in the back. So if you think about it, if you lift your, your, your bed up like this, as your load gets up there, it becomes top heavy. So it, if you're on the slightest of slopes, I mean, it, it doesn't even have to be something major. It can be just a, can be a grade like this. You get something stuck at the top of your, your uh, dump body there, it's gonna take your truck ass over tea kettle. And then you're gonna be paying a lot of money to get that thing righted and then fixed. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys here in just a second. So what I'll do is I'll grab the keys for this guy. We'll get this thing up in the air and I can show you in the back what the suspension looks like. It's already kind of parked on a little bit of a hill or an incline like this. And it's cold as hell outside. So I'm gonna do two things actually. I'm gonna go get my ass a fucking coat and then I'll get the keys because I'm freezing. <sighs> Before I do though, let's uh, take a look at the, the suspension and what it looks like on a normal uh, dump truck. So right here we have the Tough Track system. Uh, this is a really good suspension to have for your dump truck. Uh, it'll keep things in good working order and it'll stop you from tipping over. It's pretty good stuff. When these are actually replaced with airbags, it's a very unstable platform and it can cause you some issues. It can cause your truck to, you know, go, you know, tip over sideways with just the slightest of slopes, like I said before. So the reason why you got to be cautious of that is because a lot of these guys, they're selling these, these uh, conversions for, you know, $10,000, $15,000 less than you can get one of these guys for. But it's gonna cost you more in the long run and it's gonna it's gonna take food out of your mouth, so to speak, because you're not gonna be able to do certain jobs because it's gonna to be too dangerous. So you really wanna uh, you really wanna make sure that you're getting something with the right type of suspension on it. There's trucks all over the country that are for sale right now that have the over-the-road conversion and it's it's garbage. I'll give you an example of that tread pattern you should look at. Like I was saying before is that you're, uh, if you don't have the right tread type, you're not gonna get traction when you need it the most on a, on a project or a job site. And so that can lose you money. And if you have to replace all these guys, it's $1,000 an axle, $250 a piece. So, no, or more, depending on where you're located. If you're looking at $1,000 per axle, you got 1,000, 2,000 just on your duels. So you just, you wanna make sure that you're getting the right stuff and that you're not buying something that's going to cost you a bunch of money to get it retrofitted uh, with the right equipment. Uh, and like I was saying before, you wanna buy something that's been well-maintained. If you can see there's all the bushings in here, I know you can't see it, but I made sure that when I went through the truck that there were no blown bushings, that there weren't, you know, any of these, uh, uh, the ball joints weren't all worn out. I knew that the, uh, the tag axle tires were going to need to be redone but the tread on these guys even though they're not brand new i knew they would last me another 20,000 30,000 miles easily just make sure that the truck's not all worn out you know it, it, you'll see guys buying ones from the 70s and the in the 80s that are you know just they're they're garbage they're falling apart you know the you know even in inside the cab you know, you, sometimes you get uh, inside the cab and it, the gauges don't work. 
Um, that's another thing. Make sure all your gauges work. You know, make sure that if it has a differential gauge, to, you know, for the temperature, that it's actually reading the temperature in the differential. You know, it's going to save you money. You know, um, don't go, oh, well, I'll fix it. Well, you don't know what's wrong with it. It could be anything. It can be the sensor that you can no longer buy because it's from the 80s. You got to be, uh, you know, cautious of that. All right. Well, yeah, let's get this thing up in the air and, and kind of give you an idea of what you're actually going to be looking at if you buy a truck that has air ride suspension. It'd be comfortable as hell. I'm not going to tell you it's not going to be comfortable. But if you buy air ride suspension, you are going to regret it. Everybody's going to go, why'd you do that? And then you're going to go, you're going to be defending yourself every day. So, and uh, some of these guys, they'll, they'll sell you these Volvos that are just in immaculate condition. They look great. They're not worth it because you can't do a job. So and that's that's a problem, right? We're here to make money. All right, so right now I'm quite a bit back from the dump truck. I had to get my coat, man. This it, it is freezing outside. We're going to have some snow here over the next couple of days. So I'm thinking about putting out a few little snippets of maybe us playing in the Jeep. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to put the box up in the air and I'm going to give you guys a visual of what happens if you have air ride suspension. Give me a sec. As you can see, with the box up in the air like this, it's pretty high up. Now, can you imagine what it's like if you are, let's see, let's see, can you even see? You can't even see the top of it. You guys can't even see the top of it, but it's way the f up there. Can you imagine what it'd be like if you had a, a load, a wet load of, of just clay mud stuck at the top of your box and you're in an incline, say like this? What do you think's gonna happen? If you're sitting like this and you got something stuck up here at the very top of that box, I'm gonna put this guy up so you guys can see. Look, my arm's all the way extended and I'm pretty close to the camera. All the way up there at the top. Well, that is going to tip. If you buy one with that air ride suspension, you're just putting yourself at risk because everything that's up there at the top is gonna be weighing the top of that box out. And if you have a steel box on top of it, good luck, man. You're gonna, you're adding insult to injury at that point. So dump trucks are great tools i mean they can make you a ton of money but if you buy the wrong one or you're thinking you're getting a deal when you're buying something like a conversion i assure you you are not because you're you're going to run into some issues that that are going to cost you quite a bit of money so make sure the truck's not worn out make sure that it doesn't have a huge amount of miles on the entire truck we're not talking about just the motor we're talking about your transmission Talking about your suspension, your ball joints, your U-joints, all that kind of stuff. You want to make sure that they don't have a ton of miles on them because they are bound to break. And if they haven't been changed since the tire was manufactured or since the uh, truck was manufactured, it's going to go at some point. And if you have a 500,000 mile truck, chances are it's going to happen at some point. So be weary of that. Go through the truck with a fine tooth comb. Make sure that you don't get one with air ride suspension because this thing would tip over if it were on an incline right now. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So I'm going I'm to go inside because it's freaking cold and you guys are nuts for being out here. Take care. What's up, guys? It's your host, Rob, here with Down to Dirt TV. TV, TV. <sighs> Is that lighting okay? I think it's all right. Welcome to Down and Dirt TV, and today we're going to be talking about what to watch out for when you're buying your first dump truck. And uh, if you're new here to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you get it. Just break it every time. It's okay. I had another pen. It's right here. You make me nervous! I know, but you're here.
Oh, yeah, but you could hear me then. I yelled. Well, I love you. You heard that too. Get out of here. <laughs>